It's usually a circus with us whenever we go anywhere. The circus has arrived in Stockton. It's exciting, you know, the, the chance to play uh, the best team in our sports history at home is, is just really great. Just last week, the Yukon Lady Huskies broke the college basketball record for consecutive games won, winning their 89th game in a row. What are the odds that the 90th game is tomorrow at UOP? Uh, we couldn't have scripted it any better for them playing the 90th game. The first game after they've broken the streak at our place is just pretty special. And I appreciate, uh, you know, the fact that they would want to play us because not everybody wants to. I think that says a lot about them, that they want to show the people in this area, hey, this is what everybody aspires to be someday. And, you know, if we can be a part of that, I think that's really cool. The day before the big game, the Yukon Lady Huskies are practicing in an empty gym. But tomorrow, this place will be sold out with over 6,000 fans. That's 4,000 more people that have ever attended a UOP women's basketball game. The ticket requester flowing in and uh, I was sold out before Christmas. If we were just any other team and we came here tonight or tomorrow night, there wouldn't be 6,000 people at the game. So is that good or bad? I think it's great because maybe Pacific makes more fans of, of the game. Uh, maybe there's this feeling of, wow, you know, we just saw a really good team play. Uh, or we just saw the greatest upset in the history of college basketball. Upset or not, tomorrow's game will be a memorable one for UOP. Our hope is just to be as competitive as we can and, and you know, win, lose, or tie. When we step off the floor, we're proud of how we played and, and how we represented Pacific. In Stockton, Samantha Batari, KCRA 3 Sports.